Long before you could draw on a tablet or computer, prehistoric cave paintings were all the rage. Found all over the world, these paintings often date back thousands of years. Not only do they tell the story of civilizations and people long gone, but they are a fantastic way to learn about how these people lived and survived when rudimentary skills like creating a fire were first becoming a reality. Rock Fragment at Nawarla Gabernmang Nawarla Gabernmang is an Australian cave art site in the Northern Territory. This cave hosts the most ancient cave drawings on the continent. A piece of rock from the decorated ceiling of an outcropping had artificial lines drawn on it that were carbon dated to at least 28,000 years old, though they may be much older. Some other drawings at the site show crocodiles, wallabies, Asian sea base, and people, though not all date back thousands of years. Locals have still used the cave within the last 100 years, so many different kinds of drawings from many eras exist in one location. Animals at Kalaboea Cave Located in Apusini Natural Park in Romania, the Kalaboea Cave hosts cave paintings that are at least 32,000 years old though this is debatable. Some scientists think it's impossible to date these drawings because there is so much overlap between images from different periods in the same space. Some of the animals depicted weren't around in abundance yet compared to the drawing's supposed dates. Nonetheless, the art in the Kalaboea Cave is some of the oldest in Eastern Europe. Some of the largest animals are a couple of feet in length, and the cave sports images of rhinoceroses, bison, and bears. Figurative Paintings at Chauvet Cave The Chauvet Cave is in France and contains some of the planet's most well-preserved figurative cave art. While the exact dating of the earliest drawings is uncertain, it's generally accepted that the oldest depictions are around 35,000. The scenes depicted show movement and interaction between around 13 species of animals alive at the time. While most other caves only show herbivores, the Chauvet drawings depict predators like leopards and the Ice Age spotted hyena. There are also abstract circles with dot patterns and handprints created by blowing pigment over a hand firmly against a rock. Animals at Kapova Cave Kapova Cave is in the southern Urals of Russia and contains drawings around 36,000 years old. Over 50 drawings are spread out across four well-decorated chambers. Some identifiable animals on the walls include rhinoceroses, buffalo, ibex, and mammoth. In addition, there may be drawings of humans or wild animals with human characteristics, however, this is inconclusive. Red Disc at Cueva del Castillo A cave near Cantabria in Spain has housed humans for around 150,000 years. While there are various artistic pieces within the Cueva del Castillo, the oldest discovered cave drawing is a red disc about 40,000 years old. Scientists could date it because it was covered by a calcite layer that easily gives up its age. The red disc discovery is important because it demonstrates that humans created cave art in Europe before figurative representations emerged. Because earlier figurative representations exist on other continents, this may show that the ability to abstract ideas into art developed in Africa since the earliest humans disseminated from there. Art may have also emerged simultaneously in various places. Bull at Lubang Jiriji Sala Cave. Lubang Jiriji Sala Cave is on the island of Borneo in Indonesia. It was the oldest figurative cave art on Earth when it was first discovered. While some outlines of fingers in the cave may be over 52,000 years old, the oldest figurative drawing is that of a Bantang bull, which is 40,000 years old. The discovery of this set of cave drawings was the first example of ancient cave art that demonstrated the possibility that representative art developed in multiple places. Moreover, it was the piece that provided the shift in academic thinking needed to change the narrative about the evolution of human consciousness. Hunting Scene at Lingbulu Sipong 4 One of the oldest cave paintings on Earth is a hunting scene depicting humans and pigs. Within that scene is a specific warty pig around 43,900 years old. This scene is in the Marospankap Karst Caves in South Sulawesi, Borneo, Indonesia. The name of the specific cave is Lingbulu Sipong. This cave complex boasts an older drawing in a separate cave, demonstrating some of the earliest figurative art found on Earth. Pig at the Ling Tidong Cave The warty pig in the Ling Tidong Cave in the Maro Spankepkarst in Indonesia is the oldest example of figurative art on Earth. Within this cave complex are other examples of some of the oldest representative art on the planet, including the previous hunting scene described above. While the cave art in this complex is some of the most ancient, 
there is substantial evidence of hominid occupation in this karst for almost 200,000 years. However, this drawing is the earliest evidence of Homo sapiens settlement in the wider geographical region. Red stencil of a hand in Maltrabiso cave. The oldest cave painting is a hand stencil made by a Neanderthal over 64,000 years ago in the Maltrabiso cave in Caceres, Spain. Scientists know a Neanderthal made this handprint because Homo sapiens hadn't arrived in the region yet. Modern humans wouldn't live in Spain for another 20,000 years. This challenges the common misconception that Neanderthals were animalistic and uncomplicated in comparison to Homo sapiens. Before, it was assumed that all Neanderthal culture was inherited by migrating Homo sapiens, as no artistic object predated the arrival of modern people. It also shows that Neanderthals were capable of disseminating information between generations. This allowed for complex techniques such as pigment mixing and the calculated application of color. Rock lines at Blombos Cave. A rock was found in South Africa at the Blombos Cave. Numerous crossing lines were drawn on it, some of which required wielding a manufactured and precise ochre utensil. The ochre marks are 73,000 years old. This discovery is important because it shows that early modern humans in South Africa were already capable of creative design before mass migration from the African continent occurred. In the past, most academics believed that Europe was the center of human development.